Bare piping system components on chilled water pipe systems, such as gate valves, strainers, flanges, fittings, and flexible connectors are common in the mechanical rooms of institutional buildings such as schools, universities, medical centers, and government buildings. These uninsulated components can result in a tremendous amount of wasted energy, are a major source of corrosion, and can cause condensation problems. It is surprising at just how many uninsulated surfaces there are in a typical mechanical room, many of them on chilled water systems. Some of the components may have been insulated initially and then left bare after maintenance work. It seems the replacement insulation rarely makes it back on. Quite often, however, these components are left bare simply because they are too intricate and costly to insulate. That does not need to be the case anymore. Insulating all kinds of chilled water components is now quick and easy using Evergreen Chill-In Removable and Reusable Insulation Kits. Insulating these components has several benefits. Reduces energy waste, significantly reduces water condensation, and reduces corrosion of steel components. And Chill-In is removable and reusable, ideal for dual temperature systems, and you can estimate, fabricate, and install right on the job site. Each chill-in kit consists of one four-foot by eight-foot flexible insulation blanket faced on both sides with a flexible zero-perm vapor retarder, one 75-foot long four-inch wide roll of matching zero-perm pressure-sensitive tape, one tube of silicone caulk, and one utility knife. Getting started requires no special tools. In addition to the utility knife, you simply need a measuring tape, a marking pen, a standard pair of scissors, and a table or other cutting surface. Before you get started, make an assessment of the component. Take note of the type of valve, any unusual protrusions you'll need to consider, as well as the type of insulation that is on the adjacent pipe. In this case, there is fiberglass pipe insulation with ASJ on the pipe that connects to the component with a bolted flange pair. Measure the pipe and component to be insulated. Determine the minimum length and width, that is, the outer circumference, of the insulation blanket you will need. When determining the blanket circumference, you will need to account for the blanket thickness. Since the blanket is compressible, we recommend you use a thickness of one and a half inches. Double that value to three inches. Then, add that value to the component diameter. Finally, multiply that value by pi which is 3.14. This should give you the approximate blanket circumference. This is also a good time to prepare the surface for the chill-in insulation blanket. Getting a good vapor seal once the insulation blanket is installed is critical. You will need to provide a pipe surface that you can attach the blanket to so that you achieve the tight seal we're looking for. In this case, the installers have wrapped the insulated pipe surface using some of the zero-perm tape provided in the kit. As you will soon see, the fabricated blanket will be wrapped around the valve and then taped to these prepared surfaces using additional tape. Roll out the chill and insulation blanket on a table or a good cutting surface. Measure and mark the blanket to indicate where cuts will be made. Double check your measurements to assure you have correctly determined your stretch out. Remember the adage, measure twice, cut once. With the utility knife, cut the section you need along the measured lines. Do not worry about the raw edges at this time. You will tape all raw insulation edges prior to insulating. Before proceeding further, it's good practice to take the blanket over to the component, wrap it, and hold it in place with your hands to assure that it will fit. If it has too great a circumference, take it back to the table and trim it. To tape the raw edges, use the roll of zero perm tape provided and match up the length of tape you will need to the insulation section and cut the tape to length. Here's a tip to make it easier to peel the tape. First, lightly score the corner of the cut tape on the release liner. Peeling the release liner will then be easy when you need to apply that piece of tape. Attach half of the tape to one side of the exposed blanket edges. Press the tape to the surface of the blanket to make sure that the tape is secured along the length of the blanket. Flip the blanket, 
bring the other half of the tape up and secure it to the edge. It is critically important to make sure the corners are also completely sealed so no water vapor can get into the insulation cover itself. The installer in this case also cuts small pieces of tape to cover the corners. He scores the corners and then begins to wrap the corners. After the tape is folded on both sides of the corner, snip the tape along the fold. This allows for a tighter seal. Finish wrapping the corner with the tape so no insulation is showing. There is one more step you need to do prior to actually installing the insulation cover. If the valve you are insulating has any protrusions, such as a valve handle or instrumentation line, you will need to mark where they are on the blanket. In this case, the installers pre-fit the insulation blanket around the fitting. With a marking pen, they mark the location and the length of the area that they will need to cut out or cut around to allow for the penetration. Make the necessary cuts for the penetrations and then, again, tape the exposed edges. Note the installer again snips the tape along the curve of the cut so that the tape lays and adheres well. Now your insulation blanket is ready for installation. In most cases, chill-in will be installed on rusting pipes and components. The new insulation alone will not stop the corrosion process once it is started. We recommend the use of a corrosion protection gel as an added protection to guard against corrosion under the insulation. Simply brush it on the component prior to insulating. This gel can be particularly useful protection on the nuts and bolts holding flange pairs together. Wrap the blanket around the fitting and loosely secure it in place with several short strips of tape. Cut several short pieces of tape to cover the gaps around each penetration. Always rub the tape with your hand to assure there is a good seal in all locations. Then start taping the seams. One person can gently hold and press the seams together while the other applies the tape. Notice here that the installer is creating a fold-over tab at the final end of each tape strip. This will make it easier to remove the insulation blanket in the future when the component needs to be accessed for maintenance. Wrap a strip of tape matching the circumferential dimension around the installed blanket. In this case, the installers will be taping the top and bottom circumferential edges of the blanket to the pipe surface. If you run into protrusions, simply cut and tape around them as the installer has done here. Create the foldover tabs as you proceed. Once the blanket is secure, rub along all the tape surfaces to assure a good, continuous seal. Check all penetrations one last time and tape around them with short strips of tape. Each chill-in kit comes with a tube of silicone caulk to completely seal the pipe surface from vapor intrusion. As a final vapor sealing step, apply the caulk at each penetration to create an airtight seal. To complete the job, it is very important that you label the insulated component so that the person assigned to maintaining the system knows what valve or other component is underneath the new insulation blanket. Make note of any temperature, pressure, or system data you feel would be important to the person assigned to maintain the system. And remember, these are removable and reusable insulation covers, so you need only fabricate these once. In fact, when removing one of these chill-in insulation blankets, the only component that needs to be replaced when reapplying is the tape. The removed tape should be discarded rather than reused. Leaving chilled water system components bare so they waste energy is just not good practice, particularly when there is an easy, cost-effective insulation solution. In addition, uninsulated dripping and corroding components can cause a host of other problems for the process and for the people who work in the area. Solve these problems by simply insulating these components with Evergreen Chill-In Modular Insulation Blankets. You just saw how fast it is to fabricate and apply the Chill-In Vapor Sealed Insulation Blanket System. For more information, go to www.cutandwrap.com or call Auburn Manufacturing at 800
264-6689.